Hey guys, just before I get into this video, forgive me, I was eating a biscuit. I am wearing a t-shirt. I am wearing a t-shirt, so please, I'm wearing a t-shirt. So I do pray that this video blesses you. I'm wearing a t-shirt. So God bless you guys. Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because this has been on my heart for ages now. What is that? I don't know what that was. Um, and I just wanted to say also, um, if you hear something in the background, forgive me, it's my fan. It's hot. It's very hot. So, yes, bear with me. I do pray once again that it does not mess up the audio. Um, but this is a video that has been on my heart for, for weeks now and God has impressed it upon my heart to do. And I have been seeing many comments concerning this. And I do pray that it blesses all who would hear this in the name of jesus christ i just pray that the lord would open up your hearts to receive everything that i would share obviously you take everything that i have said to god in prayer in your quiet time as well so this video is in response to a question that i have been seeing a lot on the video that i made concerning christian k-pop i made a video concerning christian k-pop and i was just sharing christian alternatives to k-pop and i had been seeing a lot of comments saying can christians listen to k-pop I'm a Christian, am I allowed to listen to K-pop? You know, seeing these type of questions, just seeing it constantly. And I just wanted to say that, you know, the question, can Christians listen to K-pop? Shouldn't necessarily be the question. Rather, it should be, should I as a Christian listen to K-pop? I believe that that's what the question should be. And I do pray that you would have an open heart and open mind to hear what I want to say. So just before I get into the video, I just wanted to define what K-pop is. It's literally Korean music. With everything that I say, obviously if I'm wrong or I've missed something, please correct me in the comments. I am willing to learn. I'm open to learning. Um, but yeah, K-pop is Korean music, Korean pop. And with that being said, it means that, you know, K-pop is a large industry. You know, there's mainstream K-pop where we see groups like BTS, um, EXO, all these groups that are mainly known because it's mainstream. Then there is christian k-pop and it's literally just christian music that is korean you know there is k-hip-hop korean hip-hop you know the various forms of k-pop is literally just korean pop like music that is in korean music that is korean and so yeah so now that's out of the way i just want to get into what i wanted to say as christians it's very important to be intentional with what you take in or allow yourself to take in because whether you like it or not what you take in will affect what you put out it will affect your fruits it will impact you you know for example if you engage with the word of god day and night you meditate upon it as it calls us to in the in the word you know you submit to the word and you engage with it you will look more like christ you will bear the fruits of christ as you engage with it as you submit to it if you engage with the things of the world whether you like it or not you will begin to look like the world what you fix your eyes on you will begin to look like so we need to be very intentional with what we allow ourselves to take in as christians what we submit ourselves to what we interact with and also we need to remember that you know in this life in the in in this life there is no middle ground you're either for god or you're not if something is not for god if it's not for jesus then it's of the enemy whether it's overtly expressed or covertly expressed and Jesus says it in the word in Matthew, you know, if you're not with me, you're against me. If you don't build me with me, you're scattering. And point blank period, if it's not of God, then it is of the enemy. If it's of the world, it's most definitely not of God. And so therefore of the enemy. And so you need to be very, very discerning concerning what you take in and what you allow yourself to take in. And I just wanted to say, with that being said, does that mean that every any song that doesn't explicitly mention jesus or hallelujah or something like that christiany is against god no i'm not saying that there are many people in the music industry for example and now i'm straying a bit from the whole k-pop topic for now such as like tori kelly who are in faith who believe in god and she doesn't necessarily make christian music however through her creativity through her songwriting through her singing gift she brings glory to god and 
she may not explicitly be um talking about jesus all the time in her music or in the way she could um in her day-to-day -day activities in the music industry however she is a light to that industry as the way she will conduct herself will glorify god the things and how she speaks about certain things will glorify god her giftings and who she's using it to glorify is god um, so I just wanted to point that out because I do know that there are people who get into a thing of oh if it's not talking about Jesus then it's not of God you know that's not necessarily the case you know God is so rich in his wisdom um, that that he can use his children however you know not everyone is called to be a pastor for example does that mean that a teacher who is teaching maths is not glorifying God no he is or she is glorifying God through the wisdom the skill in which they're using to teach their students it's the way they will conduct themselves and the spirit in which they minister through even in teaching or even in singing is different to that of the world if that makes sense so i just want to point that out but yeah i just want to say if it's not of god then it's of the world and therefore it's of the enemy whether it's overtly or covertly expressed and um, but with that being said not every song that doesn't that doesn't mention jesus is demonic not every song that doesn't mention jesus explicitly is of the world so yeah so just going um back to what i was saying so as i was saying this it's very important that you exercise discernment with all that you watch and you take in when it comes to k-pop and any other music genre or anything in life that it's very important that you exercise discernment what are you listening to what are they saying what are the lyrics just because a song is in Korean doesn't mean that it's it's okay to listen to as a believer to take it in like if they're singing about things that are contrary to the word of God that are promoting things that are sinful singing about certain things or let's say love in a way that is worldly why are you taking it in why are you allowing that into your system why are you allowing yourself to be exposed to that so I always say be very intentional with what you're listening to the lyrics translate them um if the lyrics are off don't listen to them and this is something else that i was saying in the comments before i was like when you listen to these songs when you listen to these k-pop songs does it cause you to fall into lust does it cause you to fall into vanity does it cause you to fall into comparison idolatry does it lead you into sin and if so i would say um it would be best if you cut it out you know some of these videos and some I, I feel like sometimes people will think because it's k-pop it's all fluffy but sometimes some of these videos some of these songs are very dirty and very dark and why are you exposing yourself or allowing yourself to take these things in willfully and enjoy these like it, it why are you indulging in these things that do not benefit you or aid you in your walk you know like it says everything is permissible but not all things are beneficial if it's not edifying you if it's not aiding you in your walk if it's actually counter christ why are you entertaining it why are you partaking in it i, I know you know you may have your favorite k-pop groups but why are you partaking in these things it's just it just it's just not beneficial it doesn't add anything to you rather it's working against you in the sense that it can be a stumbling block for you it can cause negative seeds to be planted it can cause you to now fall into lust it can cause you to now um fall into a whole load of things like for example when i used to listen to k-pop it led to me falling into the whole fetish fetish is like fetish i can't say the word into obsessing over um Koreans and even just in regards to me like I got into K-pop before I came into Christ before I was saved and I really got obsessed with it I was I wouldn't say that I got into the whole aspect of fan culture which I will speak on in a bit <laughs> but I would really obsess over these um, K-pop musicians and like I said before begin to get obsessed with that specific group of people and it just led to a whole load of lust and just led into all forms of other types of sin vanity obviously coming into christ now um i praise the lord because um i would listen to k-pop but i wouldn't it wasn't a thing of where i was so obsessed with it i wasn't that bothered concerning k-pop uh, my interests were changing and it got to a point where even 
yeah so my interests were changing but then obviously i backslid but even in, at that point it got to a point where i stopped listening to k-pop personally because of the racism that had been going on the anti-blackness that was prevalent in the k-pop industry that i just i just couldn't be asked to deal with anymore um so it got to a point where i just got tired of seeing all these anti-black and racist incidents happening within the k-pop industry and the artists refusing to be humble um to um accept responsibility and apologize and just seeing the backbiting and the fighting between groups of fans and people just not understanding i got tired i was just like i actually i don't have time for this and i just stopped but before that moment you know there was still that whole obsession with koreans there was still that fetish fetish as it, i can't say the word guys but there was that word there was that i'm gonna i'm gonna write out i don't know if it's gonna be here but there was that and i i dealt with that a lot and i do praise the lord that once i did rededicate my life and really surrender and submit to god i just like gave, like stopped listening to k-pop completely and just literally didn't care for it um the lord really delivered me from all those things like my interest completely changed and i would i began to receive the fulfillment that i guess i was trying to find in k-pop in god and actually submitting myself to seeking god and allowing him to fill me up so yeah i just want to share my mini story concerning k-pop so i do i do know that it can be something that you really enjoy and really like because oh wow they're dancing and they're so talented however does it lead you to sin is it a stumbling block it 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 may be a stumbling block to you you need to be very careful with what you allow yourself to be exposed to because those things can become a snare to you and cause you to fall into sin and lead you into sin you really need to say is is your walk and is your purity worth you know listening to your favorite k-pop groups and so i just wanted to share that there are major issues that i've seen within the k-pop culture that causes me to question a lot like why would you as a believer as a as a christian desire to engage with this or partake in this um you know this culture you know i've seen things such as you know vanity lust idolatry the pride of life fighting especially within fandoms and abuse and these things aren't glorifying to god they're not they're most definitely not edifying to you so why would you put yourself in an environment where it doesn't glorify God and it can actually be a stumbling block to you? You know, one major issue I do know, I do see regarding K-pop is idolatry. And this is something that many people have been speaking about in the comments and that they have realized because God, by, by his grace, his amazing grace, his highlight to them is an issue. Um, idolatry many people finding that they get so obsessed with these their um k-pop artists who are even referred to as idols which i have an issue with in the first like i have an issue with that i don't know why they're called idols however yeah i've seen many people finding it so hard to focus on the lord because they get so obsessed and so involved and so invested in these artists you know i've seen in this culture even whilst i was part of it in terms of um when i used to listen to this genre of music where these humans have been given godlike statuses and god expectations that should not be placed on humans have been placed on them and the idolatry within k-pop is just so mad i don't know what it is about k-pop as a as a whole but i've seen that idolatry has been a major issue obviously i do know in in like other secular um music that is non-k-pop that there are groups and fandoms that are quite idolatrous but i've seen this quite commonly within k-pop and i don't know what why but i've seen this very prevalent even whilst i was partaking in the music that idolatry is a major issue and a, a major a thing that many people who engage in k-pop fall into and it's very very serious god hates idolatry and we are to love the lord our god with all our hearts all our mind and all our soul we cannot place anything before him god is your creator god made you god died for you jesus died for you and he loves you and he is the one worthy of your worship he is the one worthy of your praise and adoration you know when you have these idols when you have these korean artists that you idolize and you're obsessed with it's you are worshiping them it's actually a form of worship 
you know and i've seen that many people find it are finding it hard to seek god many people are finding it hard to spend time with god because all they want to do is look at the latest interview by bts or you know do this or do that that's k-pop related and it's like they cannot give you the satisfaction that only God can give you and you see that a lot of people fall into the obsession of these k-pop groups even to the point where they become sassings because they're trying to find fulfillment in a thing that cannot give them fulfillment only God can and sometimes you know you may not necessarily realize it or you may think it's harmless fun but it's idolatry and it, it's only a downward spiral don't let the enemy deceive you don't let the enemy fool you and think oh it's just music it's just it's just okay you know it's you're, you're not you're not lying to anyone you're not like idolatry is a major issue and you know a lot of people can be deceived um and not even know that they're in idolatry i would like to ask people who are in in who listen to k-pop and engage in this like are you spending time with god are you still spending time with god are you still seeking his face are you longing for god is he your one desire or are you concerned with what what trousers namjoon is wearing um and the thing is is that you know if anything is contending with your walk with god if anything is coming before god if anything is gaining your attention before god then it's an idol and that idol needs to be broken down because that idol cannot save you that idol cannot save you Jesus saved you and he loves you and God will not he will not share the throne of your heart with anyone and I just want to say God is worthy and deserving of all the praise all the glory and all the honor um he is the king of kings and he is the lord of lords and he is the only one that can ever give you the satisfaction and and the fulfillment that you need in in life and everything he is your king he he loves you and he created you so I just wanted to say that idolatry is a major, um, a major thing that many people who engage in K-pop fall into. And I just wanted to say that you know, if you have fallen into idolatry and you found that you know being listening to K-pop or really loving these um, K-pop groups has caused you to kind of stray from God, repent just change your mind you know go to god and say god i am so sorry i repent i ask for forgiveness forgive me and he will forgive you and just you know turn away from k-pop and turn to god you know in a sense like ask god to help you um ask god to help you to put him first ask god to help you to seek him first to seek his kingdom first to spend time with him more to dwell in his presence and he will help you he will give you the grace too you know if it's a thing of where like then for some people they may need to cut down on what they listen to for some people they may need to let go of k-pop completely and if you are some you are someone that god is calling to let go of k-pop completely let me tell you it's the best decision you can ever make in your life you know k-pop can't save you only god can and if god is telling you to cut out something from your life it's for your benefit you know um god will help you and he will really really sustain you i've seen also that you know some people have said that they pray for their k-pop artists um day by day daily and there's nothing wrong with praying for praying for people and and praying that god would open their eyes and save them um or praying for them however i wanted to ask like what other things do you pray about um do you pray um about the things on god's heart do you know what's on god's heart or do you just go into your prayer time and just pray about your korean artists and um, because i've found at times that there have been times where i would go into the presence of god and just pray concerning a thing all the time and think because i'm praying on it oh it's not idolatry because i'm i'm committing it into the hands of the lord but then god showing me after that that's the only thing i would pray about i wouldn't speak to i wouldn't come to him concerning other things to seek his face i would literally just come to him to to seek um that thing that was an idol in my life to pray concerning that thing that was an idol in my life so obviously praying for your favorite korean artist is not a bad thing but i'm just like if that's the only thing that you pray about then there is an issue if that's the only thing you talk to god about then there is an issue and um i would high key um ask that you just sit down with god and allow him to assess you 
but yeah i've been seeing in the comments that a lot of people had fallen into idolatry many people had been finding it hard to spend time with god many people had been finding it hard to you know um dwell in the presence of god because they just want to listen to k-pop or they just want to watch an interview or partake in fan culture or just do this or talk about this about k-pop with their friends and um that is a form of idolatry and I would just suggest and encourage everyone that if you're listening to this and noticing that wow I had fallen into the idol fallen into idolatry and I wasn't spending time with God and so therefore in sin because idolatry is sin anything that's in the place of God in your heart is an idol but yeah if you realize oh my gosh I've been in idolatry simply just go to God and repent confess and just ask him to help you to um, seek him first put him first let go of the k-pop that so easily entangles you that is a sneer to you and surrender to god and allow him to help you because god is worth it and god is so much more beautiful and much more precious and so much more fulfilling than any k-pop group any k-pop song god will help you and there is grace there is immense grace don't feel condemned there is grace there is most definitely grace and obviously i do acknowledge that with these things like giving up certain things or if god can cause you to give it up if god calls you to give it up completely if god calls you to let go of it completely god will give you the grace and he will help you sometimes it can be instantaneous like oh wow i just don't care for it no more and it, sometimes it will be a process let me tell you it will be a process sometimes to let go of certain things that you you have enjoyed and have made idols in your life but god is there and he's gracious and he'll help you you just need to continually come to him and submit and surrender to him seek him first be intentional with your walk with him spend time in his presence daily seek him first be may god be the first one you go to when you wake up speak to him first be in the word and allow him to fill you up and renew your mind and be very intentional to draw a line to know when okay this is getting too much let me stop with this whole thing and and seek the face of god another thing i wanted to talk about was k-pop fandom and culture i had seen quite a lot and um why i never really got involved in it that there is a lot of backbiting there's a lot of um fandom wars insults shade even within the same fandoms as well and i just wanted to say to every believer that you know we're meant to flee from all appearances of evil why don't put yourself in a situation where you can get caught in strife um get caught in backbiting and just things of the flesh hatred backstabbing insulting and, and reviling others why don't put yourself in atmospheres where you can be tempted to now to now hate a fellow person someone god created in his image with his hands um and i just wanted to speak concerning that because there are many people who get caught up in this whole k-pop fandom culture because they love their k-pop artists so much and they come out of the character that they ought to be walking in as a child of god and they begin to fight with people online because they want to defend their korean um artists and i'm just like as a believer we are to conduct ourselves in accordance with what the word calls us to we are meant to be a salt and light of the earth we are not to now come out of who we are in christ for anything or any reason anything that could cause you to come out of who christ has called you to be needs to get out of your life the same way i always say that any friend that can cause you to you know compromise on your walk um cause you to stumble and now be acting all sorts of crazy that's the same with k-pop if you find that you know someone insulting <laughs> your k-pop um artist causes you to you know titch a little bit you need to cut it out no one should have that power over you jesus christ died that you would have authority and power over the flesh so if you see yourself falling into the flesh continuously because of a certain thing you need to cut it out you need to let go of it like i said before these idols they're not your god they are not your god um and for people who don't fall into idolatry and they're like no that's not me i actually i'm not i don't idolize these people i just like the music i just wanted to encourage you to just be very discerning concerning what you're listening to to be very intentional with the lyrics like i said before just because the lyrics are in korean and you may not understand what they're saying doesn't make it any good you still need to be intentional to not feed your spirit to not feed your um to not feed your spirit with vulgar trash um you need to be very intentional to not feed your eyes with trash you know like i said people think because it's k-pop it's fluffy some of the things are very dirty and very dark 
so i just want to say for those who don't fall into you know idolatry who don't fall into all of that and simply just listen to it because of the music be the zoning with what you allow yourself to listen to um you know there are other alternatives you don't necessarily need to listen to mainstream k-pop songs which is what i'm specifically talking about in this video there, there, there is Christian K-pop and I just wanted to say you need to be very careful to guard your heart against falling into idolatry if you have found that you have fallen repeatedly into idolatry through listening to K-pop through engaging with K-pop um, you need to cut it out your walk is so much more important your walk with God and your intimacy with God is so much more important than any K-pop group any K-pop song your walk is more important than K-pop your intimacy and your fellowship with God is so much more um, important than k-pop and for those who the lord has been convicting and telling to let go of k-pop to stop listening to k-pop that is not right please heed the voice of the lord don't now hear my video and say oh she said oh exercise the sermon so if i'm listening to this type of song and you know the lyrics are okay then it's okay no 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 no, no. if god has given you the conviction to stop listening to k-pop let go of it take heed to the voice of the lord you know like i have said before I have the conviction from the Lord to not listen to secular music and that is a conviction I have some people have a conviction where it depends on the type of song in the ter it depends on what is being said on the song but for me the Lord has given me a conviction on secular music is just a no for me and that is the best decision for me because God knows what my flesh is like and he knows that me listening to a song that is just uh, can lead me down a down downward spiral so please if god has convicted you to stop listening to k-pop and he's highlighted it to you and it, you're feeling like they're, they're that they're like oh something's not right please don't listen to what i've said and be like oh it's okay as long as i'm doing this please no take your concern to the lord take what the lord is highlighting to you to him and ask him to speak to you and if it is a thing of where he has been convicting you and telling you you can't watch this like i don't want you to then take heed of it take heed to the voice of the lord if god has given you that conviction he knows why and it's best for you so heed it don't now listen to someone else to try and to now justify your flesh essentially with everything it shouldn't be can christians listen to k-pop it should be should christians listen to k-pop should i as a christian listen to k-pop um with everything exercise discernment exercise discretion assess and see does this glorify god or not is this benefiting me in my walk or is it actually potentially a stumbling block but yeah and i just wanted to say in the comments in my other video the christian k-pop video there are many people who have shared their experiences so feel free to go and look at those testimonies and just be encouraged like you're not alone um for those who have been struggling there is hope and god desires to help you just repent and turn to him and ask him to help you and give you the grace to just seek him first and whatever the lord says to you and speaks to you specifically he will give you the grace and help you to do it um so yeah bye